Hello everyone. Hey, welcome to Fuco Mathematics. And in this video, we'll be providing the solution to this problem. Okay, we shall provide the complete solution to this problem. So sit back and um, learn. If you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe so you can learn or have access to more of my videos. X times X times X, that would be X to the power of 3. Plus X times X, that would be X to the power of 2. And that is 36. Now, do not disturb yourself, just look at 36. You can express 36 in this form. Okay, 27 is found in 36. And mind you, 27, 27, okay, 27 is the same thing as um, 3 to the power of 3. So, we can write 27 from here. And the remaining 27 out of 36 will be 9. Then 9 again, 9 like this can be written as 3 to the power of 2. So we can compare this and this, and then compare this and this. So let's write 27 in place, 27 and 9 in place of 36. So we have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 equals 27 plus 9 so that x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 is equal to 3 to the power of 3 okay we have 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 2 now let us rearrange this and this together and this and this together. So x to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 then plus x to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2 everything equals 0. So here we apply difference of um, difference of 2 cubes and difference of 2 squares. Now, let's look at this together. If you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, what does this mean? This means that um, you're having a minus b into bracket a squared plus ab plus b squared. Okay, so this is all we have. And if it is difference of two cubes, like a squared minus b squared, this will be equal to a minus b into a plus b. Now, what do we do? Let's go. In place of a minus b, we're now going to have x minus 3. So we have x minus 3. Close this. Then a squared, that would be x squared. A times b, that would be 3 times x. And that would be plus 3x. Then plus, we have b squared, which will be 3 squared. And it is 9. We close this. Then I go over to this. Plus, open bracket. Here we have a um, difference of 2 squares like this. A minus b, which is now x minus 2. Into a plus b and that is x plus 2 now right now everything is equal to 0 now what do we do you realize that this and this are common okay by the way is it x minus 2 okay it's supposed to be 3 okay so our b is 3 this is 3 and this is 3 now this and these are the same so we have x minus 3. Then here we have the whole of this. x squared plus 3x plus 9. Then plus 
this will remain over there so we can write x plus 3 in brackets then we equate everything to 0 okay now to continue with this um, we open this bracket so we have x minus 3 then here we have x squared plus 3x plus x that will be 4x then 9 plus 3 that will be plus 12 then everything equals 0 now that we're multiplying these two to get 0 it implies x is x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x squared plus 4x plus 12 is equal to 0 and then from here x minus 3 is equal to 0 meaning that x is equal to 0 plus 3 and that is 3 so here we have the solution to the equation but then there will be need for us to get more solutions from here so I will now come down and write x squared plus 4x plus 12 equals 0. What is our quadratic um, general formula? x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all of this over 2a. Our a is 1, b is 4, c is 12. So x will now be equal to b now becomes minus 4 plus or minus b squared. That will be 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 12. Okay, this is because c is 12. Then we divide all through by 2 times 1 and that is 2. So our x will now be minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 4 times 1 times 12 is 48 right then we divide this by 2 so our x will be minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 48 is minus 32 then we divide all of this by 2 now i will go up here and continue so now our x will now be equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of this minus 32 can be my um okay let me remove negative can be 32 times negative 1 square root of negative 1 divided by 2 so if i go ahead then x will be minus 4 plus or minus now this 32 is 16 times 2 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2 now our x will be minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 then root 2 times i we divide this by 2 now 2 can go here the same 2 will go here so we have our x to be equal to we have minus 2 plus or minus we have 2i root 2 because 2 into 4 is 2 then that 2 times i is 2i now this 2 here has been cancelled out so this means that our x is equal to minus 2 plus 2i root 2 or minus 2 minus 2i root 2 so from here from here we have two additional solutions but mind you we already had x to be equal to 3 and this is the only real solution as these right here are complex solutions thank you for watching